Welcome back to my channel. A few days ago, I read that VMware by Broadcom released the new version of VMware host client. And I thought to myself, is that article from this year or is it from the past? Let's have a look. On April 5th this year, I read that beta release of the new VMware host client is available. And I thought, what kind of client is it? Are we going back in time to the client which we had to install or are they remodeling and redoing the web client? So let's have a look at the announcement. And it says that the new host client beta is a web desktop application, which can be installed on Mac OS, Windows, or Linux systems. What's important is that this client is not associated to a specific ESXAC version and can connect to the most recent version of the hypervisor, as well as the old ones. While connecting to an ESXi, connection details can be saved to allow seamless switching between the servers. At this point of time, this beta version has the set of functionality uh, which we can summarize, like review, host summary, uh, checking capacity, hardware configuration, performance history, review list of VMs located on the ESXi host, manage VMs, uh, which means power operation, snapshots, edit VM settings, and open VM console, review alarms, events and warning related to ESXi host, live monitoring of tasks related to the ESXi host, and data store management, view details and increase data store capacity. How this client will be different what we can have now, I'm not too sure. Um, also, I'm not too sure if idea of installing something on your system now, when all applications inspire to be a cloud base, which means that you can access them from your web browser, is such a good idea. Um, what if we will change um, our desktop or our laptop, or we go to the lab, or we go to the different conference room, and we don't have that client installed. Um, so I'm still wondering why um, coming up with the solution which um, is outdated at this time. And do we need client which needs to be installed on particular system? Um, I, am I am curious about your opinion. So if you can um, leave them down below the video and in the comment section, please. If you want to test this new client, you have to sign up for a vSphere beta program. Uh, I will link the article uh, in the video. So you just need to sign up and then you can test it. To be honest, this new ESXi client, it looks like a vSphere client if we can see and the screenshot provided by uh, VMware themselves. Um, so there you are, guys. Um, new ESXi client. Uh, do we need it or we don't? Let's discuss. And that's it for today. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And see you 
in the next video. Bye.